I'm ready. Go ahead, Kendra. I'll catch up. Haley, you came in with so many expectations. How, how, how hard was it to live up to it? And just how have you grown since you've been here? Um, you know, I think the development of my maturity isn't necessarily that I feel pressure to live up to anyone's expectations of me. You know, I play basketball because I love it, and I play basketball because it's my passion, and I don't play to to prove people wrong or right about me. Like, I'm very set in who I am, so I wouldn't say I'm trying to live up to expectations at all. Um, I'm just trying to perform to what I know I can do, and that'll be good enough for me at the end of the day. Speaking of expectations, uh, Jeff talked a lot about the expectations of this team with national championship expectations. Do you guys like that? Is there pressure? Um, honestly, I wouldn't say there's any pressure because we didn't win it last year. I think pressure comes when comes with uh, like doing it before. So it's not as much pressure. It's more of like pressure of the fact that we haven't done it yet and um, we're a good program but we're not considered with those top top gold ones because we've never won one yet so um, I definitely think it's more of excitement within our team like we can be that group that pushes us over to the next level. Haley, I remember after that Final Four game you, you talked about Jeff and how he said and how you said that he has kind of tried to force you to be like, look, there's more to life than just ba basketball. Is so important, but you got to kind of experience that as well. Does that help you become a better basketball player to embrace that? But understand, like you know, you're 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 a basketball player, but there's obviously more to it than that. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I would say it has helped me become a better basketball player because I'm playing more relaxed and free. Like the end of the world doesn't come if I have one bad game anymore. You know, I live for other things and enjoy other things in life than um, just getting to play basketball. And I would say, like, overall, as a human being and, and a basketball player especially, like, my life um, has gotten better. What, what do you think for you that next step is in your development as a, as a basketball player? Because I, I would imagine from your freshman year to last year, you learned a ton. You know, you just continue to take steps. Yeah, um, it ha it's been a big develop like developing process like all three years um, I've been here and I think the next step for me is to be an upperclassman on this team um, and really lead us to that next level, something that I've never been to, something that no one here has ever been to and that would be winning a national championship and I think um, that's really just the one goal that I have um, and that's definitely like what I see myself planning to do. How much different is your role? Do you have a bigger leadership role this year than you have the past couple of years? Because you were using that leadership role a little bit last year too. Yeah, no, I would say I'm the same leadership role. Uh, even as a freshman, I was a big leader on the team. Um, last year, I was a big leader on the team. So I, I plan to take the same leadership role. Um, I think I've grown and figured myself out in my leadership type. And so I think. Um, I've always been a leader, even as um, a younger person on this team, so I just plan to do what I keep doing. What have you seen for this team that has you excited about the season? What has me excited? Mm -hmm. um, I'm really excited. I don't know. I'm really excited to play with this group of girls. I think we have a great group of transfers with a lot of talent. I think we have um, the potential to be extreme. Like, offensively, I think we can be unguardable. I think we have ex a lot of weapons, and I think uh, we'll put up a lot of points every night. So I'm excited to play with that tempo and that level, level of skill. Thanks, Haley. Appreciate yep. it. <laughs> Hello. Good, how are you? Good. Good to see you again. Oh, yeah, Nate Dominic, by the way. Yes. Uh, yes, Stacey Yeah. Yep. Uh, yep. <laughs> so we did it. So we go way back. That's what I tell people. Yeah. <laughs> Haley, yeah, we're old friends. You know, known each other for years. I'm just kidding. Uh, let's get it going. Um, how's your offseason been? Just take me through it. Just how eager have you been and just how's things been? What stood out? 
Um, you know, the off season has been very busy. Um, I've been traveling a bunch. I've been overseas. I played USA, but most importantly, I was really trying to heal my body. You know, last year was very intense, and we went really far, and I played a lot of minutes. So um, I was encouraged to put emphasis on rest, and I feel like I did that well, and I'm feeling good going into the new season. My body feels healthy and ready to perform. So, um, yeah, I'm glad I took that time to, to rest. That's true. Yeah, last time I saw you, you had a boot on here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, what, I'm, I imagine it was hard, too, because like you said, people told you rest was yeah. crucial, but have you felt a difference now in practice, taking a little bit of time off? Yeah, I do. I would say consistently, um, my p consistency has improved because I'm not, my body's not worn down all the time and I'm able to perform and my confidence, confidence is up because I'm performing at the level that I want and I'm not like missing shots because my arms are tired from lifting. Like I've done a lot better at taking care of my body and so um, my consistency in performing has improved and so has my confidence. What have you seen from just this year's team? Some familiar faces, but you obviously added in plenty of newcomers yeah. as well. Just what have you seen from this group? Yeah, you know, I think we have uh, great potential, a lot of winning potential. I think we have star power on this team. And I'm just really excited to get out and play with um, this group of girls, especially offensively. I think, you know, we'll have, we'll have a lot of high scoring games. We have um, just an elite level of offensive skill and it'll be really fun to be a part of and I think um, you know it'll be fun for our fans to come and watch most importantly so. Have you embraced that leadership bro? Yeah I think um, when it comes to leadership my journey with that started my freshman year um, just being a freshman and finding how I can lead and then especially last year still being an underclassman but um, being the leader on the team and having to lead us to a final four pushed me a lot and I think I'm just ready to maintain that same role that I developed from last year. Good seeing you. Yep. The coach was in there good naturedly saying people giving him crap for not winning at all. Do you, do you, do you ever hear that? Um, I'm I've never heard, I mean, people didn't expect us to win it all to begin with, so I think... Last year? Because yeah. South Carolina was so talented? Yeah, I think, you know, we were the underdog throughout the whole tournament, and, like, I wouldn't say that people believed in us to begin with. What about this year? Um, this year, you know, like, I would say, especially from our, our fans, like, they are, like, really yearning for that national championship, and they think that we can, this group can do it. Um, and I would agree, you know, I think I think uh, we have a great combination um, of talent and athleticism. And uh, I think we're going to be a lot of fun to watch. And it's it's really about us peaking at the right time. So, you know, not put, pushing, not putting any pressure on us to be um, national championship ready on our first game. It's going to be a, a season hall long, like thing of getting better every day. And uh, we just want to be that peak team at the right time. Where is the final four this year? You um, Dallas. Dallas. Okay. Yep. Um, you lose three starters though, so people like Morgan had to step in and get contribute immediately. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, we we have a lot of transfers, great transfers, um, veteran skill level, veteran IQ um, that I think will be different than what we had last year because we can't replace um, what those players bought. But it will be something new that um, we'll build our team around again, and that's what we're so good at here is um, we adjust to every year what we have, what our players can do, and yeah, I have full faith in us um, being just as good as we were last year. I guess you guys look pretty good against Michigan State, sources say. Uh, yeah, it was a fun, it was a fun scrimmage. Uh, it was fun to play with each other, not against each other. It was Monday, I guess? Yep, it was on Monday, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can get you another one in. You guys were up 18 or something, and Coach uh, substituted, that's yeah. what I heard. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I think we were up by 18 or 20 um, for most of the second half, but um, Michigan State was a good team just aggressively. They pressed us on offense, and um, now we know what we need to work on um, for our first game. So it, it was good feedback. How do you guys, I mean, Coach Walls has been here a long time. I've known him a long time. Mm. He can be kidding in a good natured way. Some people laugh at it. Some people. How do you learn to, to deal with the way he coaches? Um, I mean. Has he ever really gotten on you? Uh, yeah, he gets on me. Um, I think. 
he pushes everybody in a specific way. Like I think Coach Walls knows all of us pretty well, and he coaches coaches us all in a way that he can get the best out of us. So the way he coaches me isn't the same as the way he coaches O and Koss and Morgan. Um, so um, for me personally, um, he's very blunt with me and to the point, and I mean that's what I came here for. You can so handle that. I can handle it. Yeah, I, I have no problem with it as long as. Uh, he tells me that's what's going to make me better, then I'm all for it. So. Thank you, Haley. Yep, of course. Showed the mythical dragon in the air, and I lost. It. She is not feeling. What did she say? Dragons, Takaris. No, that's when you tell them to burn things. Yes. So what was she saying before the scene that I watched? She was saying they haven't kill you killed the masters because they were enslaving people. So she was freeing people, oh. and the headmaster she burned him. So but then why did all the people like get ready to fight? Because those were her soldiers. All the they, guys lined up. Facts. They ride with her. Oh. See, you need to watch. What can the people expect from you? Besides you not watching House of Dragons. Um, that and winning. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like? What? That's good. They know what to expect. How you doing? Good. 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 Kind of stuff. Yeah. How are you, Haley? Good, how are you? Good. I couldn't get to you last year. They oh, yeah. scattered quickly this year. Yeah. So, coming into your junior season, uh, what do you expect from your game this year? Um, You know, this year I just expect a little bit more, like, relaxed freedom, um, like, just a better flow, more pace. Um, a lot, a little bit more playmaking. I think I have great players around me that I'll be able to um, show different parts of my game other than just scoring. So I think uh, it, it'll be a fun year for me. Uh, for, is this the year you want to take that step to Dana, and Asia, and all the super strong and all the super sharp in the past made on that on floor leadership role? Yeah, you know, honestly, I would say I, I was definitely the leader last year um, when it came to the Final Four. Um, but, I mean, I just, I plan on being who I was last year as a, from a leadership standpoint. Um, I feel like that worked really well for our team in, in the end. And, um, yeah, I just want to enjoy the, enjoy the year with my team and be a leader and, and have fun playing basketball. So. How much has it changed the outlook of this team getting Josie and Morgan in and being able to play bigger like that with O at the four? Yeah, um, I mean, last year ultimately what we lacked a little bit was height um, to compete with the bigger teams like South Carolina. So I think adding in those those big players that can step in and let O play at the four her natural position um, is just going to make life a lot easier. It's going to um, just help us compete with those uh, those teams that have size. Getting Zyana and Jalen in as freshmen, uh, how much have you helped them to improve their game and show them what it's like to, on this level? Um, yeah, you know, I think uh, the, the most I can do for them is um, 
just compete every day and show them what it's like to be at Louisville. I think, you know, what we pride ourselves on is that every day in practice, it's competition. It's intense. Um, and so I think, you know, what one thing they've had to learn is coming here, like, you have to show up every day in practice and, and want to get better or you're going to get left behind. And so I think I've just tried to establish that uh, expectation on the team and, um, you know, they're they're coming along, so it's good to see. Well, you got your new backcourt running mate again this yeah. year. And uh, Coach Ball said you and CeCe have been getting in the gym a lot together. Uh, you think the synchronization from you, you and Chelsea had last year is coming in with you and CeCe yet? Yeah, you know, I think um, I'm really excited for Cece uh, because I think she plays fast and I think she's going to speed up the tempo of our team and I think she has a little bit of flair to her, um, a little bit of an unconventional point guard, but I think it's going to be uh, really fun to play with and I'm excited and I think it'll give me space to play the one a little bit too um, and we can play one, two together and just play off each other and um, yeah, so I'm really, I'm really excited to see what me and CC can do. With all the watch lists, all American lists you make, does that, does that put more pressure on you going into the season, or you just not pay attention to that kind of stuff? Um, I mean, you don't. I don't really give any of it value, um, to be honest, because it comes every year. And I mean, they didn't put me on first team All American, so clearly they don't think I'm that good. So I mean, I would, I would say like. Seeing the watch list, if anything, it's not pressure. It's just like, let's go. Like, all right, it's it's time to it's time to hoop. Like that's kind of how I feel about it. And I wouldn't say that. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say. I would say I feel more motivated by it to like go and play my best because I didn't make first team. Like I wanted to be first team, not second team. And that's like that's just what happens. It's people's opinions, and so it's my turn to go play basketball and. and work for what I want out of it. Thank you, Haley. Yep. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? At the tip off? Oh yeah yeah yeah. I remember this. <laughs> yeah. At the the little stand. We're yeah. talking about NIO. Yeah. Yep, I got you. I actually had a chance to talk to uh, your mentor. Oh and, Michelle. Yeah Michelle. Yes. Michelle, yeah. And she talked about how you were able to find your voice and, making a lot of those deals. What was, I guess, that like, and how, I guess, do you see that really helping your game, too, just being a little more vocal and more dominant? Yeah, you know, I think uh, one thing I've learned from all this, and I know included Michelle, all of that, is just, like, at the end of the day, you determine, like, what you want out of it, and I think... NIL, that's what I've, I've chose to do. I've been very specific um, in what I'm looking to partner with, what I'm willing to put my image on. Um, but also like on the basketball court, um, like it's kind of a no excuses mentality and, and my parents have instilled that in me too. Is like at the end of the day, you know, like the media is going to be the media. Um, drama is going to be drama on the team, but I control what I get out of the game and what I put into the game and, and things will come to you if, if you go about it the right way. So um, I think that all of this has just helped me really like take hold of myself in all aspects of my life and just um, decide that I can do it if I want to. When you look at this team right now, uh, Coach Walsh has talked about how you know a lot of the narrative around Louisville with this basketball is, when are they going to win a national championship? Yeah. When are they going to go over this thing? Yeah. How, how I guess do you respond to that, and what do you feel like it is going to take for you guys to win a national championship? Yeah, um, you know, you always hear that. It's like... Um, it's funny to me because like last year during the tournament, like we weren't good enough to be in the final four, but now that we didn't win the national champions at championship, it was like, oh, well, they're not good enough to ever get over the hump. But when we were playing, like you guys didn't think we should be there in the first place. So uh, you, you never can make everyone happy. And I think um, getting over the hump, uh, like I just want to keep it within our team and like we're not doing this to prove the outsiders wrong that we can get over the hump we're doing it to prove ourselves right that we can win that national championship and I think keeping that the narrative instead of that we're trying to prove people wrong um, is what's going to be important to the long-term success because I think you can get burnt out on on trying to prove other people wrong really fast but um, the long-term push of 
excellence that you need to win a national championship will be possible if we keep it internal and do it for each other. When you look at this guard, obviously CC was added in, so the guards, yeah. you know, how would you describe the guard play right now? And, you know, what are your strengths and different things that you can use during the season? Yeah, um, I'm really excited to play with CC. I think, you know, she's going to push tempo a lot. Um, she's going to play fast, and that's what I came to Louisville to do, is to play fast, to play um, free and um, to play not always in a set and in a, a, st a strict offense. And I think that she's going to just give us more opportunity to score fast, to score quick, to run up the scoreboard. Um, I can see us being in the hundreds many times this year and that's just like what makes basketball fun. That's why people watch the NBA. They want to see people score. So I think CC is going to be great for us um, and just allowing us to do that and I think She's a very flashy player. She's a little bit of me in her. Like, you like to have fun, and uh, she's very skilled. So, um, yeah, I think CeCe's going to uh, be a great addition for us. She said, you know, you guys have gotten really close and practice yeah. together. You kind of bring something out of her that she has to bring out. What does she bring out of you? Um, you know, it's funny because, like, CeCe's older than me, but, like, I'm kind of like showing her the ropes here and like taking her under my wing. Um, so I think it's it's a cool dynamic where she's actually one of a teammate where um, I feel like it's all respect and like we're just trying to learn from each other's experiences. And you know, typically with like older transfers like that, you can get like a little bit of an ego or um, uh, like just preconceived notions with what they're trying to do here. It's usually pretty like they're trying to elevate themselves so they can go play in the league, but I think she has a, a very like team-minded mindset, and um, she really is excited to play with me, and so that's made me very open um, to wanting to play with her and inviting into her, her into my workouts. And um, I think she just brings out the side of me that I need to continue to push myself to share more um, and be more open with the people around me. Um, and so I'm very grateful for that because it can be hard, but, you know, I trust her, so, yeah. When you look at just the overall overview of this team, what stands out, what makes this team special, what makes them, you know, rank top ten in all yeah. the preseason coaches and AP people? I think um, this team is special because we have the defense and the offensive side, and I think we have a great combination of skill and athleticism. We have people like Morgan. Um, that are just freak athletes who you can't teach people to do what they do. Like she just plays off instincts, has incredible length, has incredible skill. And I think, um, and then we have players like me and Cece a little bit who are just have to be more skilled with our size and our athleticism. Um, and I think we just have a great combination of that that will make us very hard to scout um, and to guard all five. When we have five offensive weapons on the court, you really have to just pick your poison with who you're going to let have a great night. So uh, I think that'll be fun to see um, in our in our games is like how many players can like have the ability to score 20 on this team, and that's not um, very typical in college teams. So I think that's definitely a strength of ours. And then when you look back at last year, that Final Four, obviously you guys wanted to go further. Mm -hmm. What was that moment like after you know, Final Brothers Sound? How much of that do you still carry with you as motivation this season? Yeah, I think um, for me, it was hard mostly because our team thought we could do it and we wanted it so bad. And hearing that buzzer sound and like almost like feeling all of our heart break at once, like seeing my teammates' faces of like, wow, like we didn't get to where we wanted to be. Um, it's pretty like crushing and it, I'll never forget my first experience of it. Hopefully it's my last. And um, you know, you just like, I feel it when I'm in practice and I'm like, I just want to coast through this practice or I'm just going to let, like I'm going to let Morgan keep making this mistake on the offense. Like I don't really feel the energy to like help her, but um, I just remember like, that feeling um, back in March, and uh, I just it, it encourages me to step up every day, and I think that that's where I felt the most. Thank you. Yeah. I just gotta ask you Yeah. What's up with the slide over here? The slide? Oh, the slide! <laughs> Do not ask me about the slide. That was, 
I had no input on that. Um, Walls did not tell me we were getting a slide, so that's all that man's. Uh, that's all on him. That that's not nothing of my choice. So you're not coming down this one. I've only been down it once, and it was not a a, a great experience. So I think uh, my last time has already happened. Yeah, but Casa said you, you fly down this. Oh, you you hit your butt hard on the bottom. I think uh, I think we went a little cheap on the uh, the, the planning of the slide because it doesn't function properly. I'll so, say that. So how fast is Jeff? Does he do it every day? Yeah. Casa does it every day. <laughs> No, he's kind of figured out a system to where he, he'll hold on to the sides a little bit to slow himself down because he knows that uh, it's not going to be pretty if he goes full speed down that way. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. I just got to get a group photo of you, O, and TC. Okay.